hello from slide nerd and hello from waves in the last video in fact starting with the last few videos i have been talking only about how to make this list view that you see over here with images text titles descriptions right so let's go and finish this in this video so the first thing we have is we have our our single row dot xml which defines only the structure of how a single row will appear remember this is not actually active right now at runtime the list view is going to create this structure and fill it with appropriate data so when is that runtime it's actually inside a method called get view so here you're going to override this get view method this is where the list view is going to call the adapter the adapter and this method is going to get called each time a row has to be displayed to the user so inside here you need to create that structure and populate it with the appropriate data so for that the first thing we need to get this structure which we have inside xml in the form of a java object so that we can manipulate it put the appropriate values inside right so let's go and do that for that we need a layout inflator object that converts an xml uh, appearance description into a java object i'm going to say layout inflator context dot get layout inflator get system service hmm the problem is the layout inflator reference can be obtained through the context object and we don't have a context object which is active anywhere but we do have a constructor where a context object has been passed in so let's use this value by creating another context over here by saying context context below the super i'm going to say this dot context equals to c so now we can simply say context dot get system service layout inflator service again we need to type cast this first we need to import this class layout inflator press alt enter import the class type cast this so at this point we got a reference to the layout inflator this is the class which is going to convert this single row dot xml from an xml based object that you see over here into a java based view object that we can use over here for that we have a method which says inflator dot inflate three parameters name the file that you want to convert into a java object that is r dot layout r dot layout dot single row in our case name the guy who's going to be the parent of this file now what do i mean by that well i have explained about how the inflation works in a separate video called layout inflator in my playlist you guys can definitely check that here we have a parameter called view group parent which is nothing but the list view which we have over here which is called list all right so we can pass this parent here and i'm going to pass the third parameter as false now remember I've explained exactly what all this is about in a separate video. It's a very huge concept and pretty complex. So here in this video, I'm not going to jump into this. So you guys can go ahead and check it out. I will also uh, make another video where I will talk about what happens if I change this false to true and what other ways I can play with this. All right. So this inflator.inflate is going to take this XML file, which is our single row, and give us a Java object, which I'm going to store inside this variable called row. All right. Now at this point, this row object actually contains a reference to this relative layout, which is the root view inside our single row dot XML. All right. So in short, this row is actually containing that relative layout. So using this row object, we can find this image view, we can find this text view one, and we can find this text view two, and then set appropriate values for the image and the text for each. Different row, right? Remember, this method get view is called for every row, and that is why we have to customize each row here. All right. So using this row object, which is actually a relative layout, let me get a reference to these views. That is the image view, text view number one, text view number two. So let's go and do that. I'm gonna say row dot find view by id r dot id dot image view. This is gonna give me the image view object, which I can store inside image view my image. We need to probably do a type casting and import. All right, so go here, import this image view by pressing Alt Enter, and again press Alt Enter to do the type casting. And there you go. Same way, get a reference to the text view by saying text view. All right, so at this point, I had my layout inflator. I have created this view row object which represents the relative layout inside our single row dot XML using the inflator, and then I've got a reference to the image view and both the text views. Now there's only one thing that remains. I need to actually go ahead, set the image for this image view, set the text for this text view, and we are done. That's all that remains. All right. So in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead 
and show you how to set and also run this list view it's our last video about this custom uh, list view with images if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day